What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. You might notice that I'm in a very different setup today. Uh, that's just because I'm at a friend's house and I thought I would make use of their beautiful home. Also, you may notice that I can change the focus of my camera. Uh, that's because I finally was able to get the Tilsa Nucleus Nano. This is the second generation one and I'm still trying to figure out the focus. There we go. But it just means that when I'm by myself, I can control the focus and make sure that uh, I am perfectly in focus every time. But talking of Tilsa, that is the partner of this video today because I want to talk to all of you about my minimal uh, run and gun black magic setup here today because there's a lot of examples of a minimalist black magic setup because a lot of the time you really do have to kit them out. You can't really have it small and compact. And there's a lot of great examples out there, but I have not seen anything quite like this setup here where it's really compact and really sleek and crisp. And I just want to talk about that today. So when it came to a minimalist black magic setup, there were three things that I wanted it to do. I wanted it to have a better mounting solution so that my monitor can fit on there, my audio, and they don't unscrew themselves. I wanted a better power solution so that I didn't have to uh, hook up a V mount to the back of it every time. And I wanted a better way to record my footage as well because although I can rig up a SSD to the Blackmagic, it is still a bit cumbersome. And so all those three things I feel would make a very, very good run and gun setup. So we'll start off with the Blackmagic itself. So, I mean, you've probably all seen this before, but uh, this is just the Blackmagic 4K. I do have the 6K as well, which I'm shooting on right now, but obviously that's going to draw a lot more storage when I'm out shooting stuff. So the 4K is plenty. And then with that, what we're going to add on to it is the battery grip from Blackmagic. What this does is it takes two NPF style batteries and depending on how long you shoot for, these will last anywhere from two to four hours. And again, this is more run and gun stuff. So I'm only capturing like quick clips like here and there. And this has been perfect. And then on the bottom of it, I have just added a Arca Swiss plate, which is used to mount this to the RS2. So I can slide the Manfrotto style plate onto this. And then I can actually just chuck this straight onto the RS2, kind of giving you that 1DX Mark II kind of vibe. And then you just take off the door off of the Black Magic, slide that under and then you just screw it into place and you've got something that looks like that. The next part is the media for storage. So right here, if I get my focus correct, you've just got a little 128 gigabyte SanDisk uh, CFast card and this just sits in the side door of the Blackmagic, just clicks into place slides in and then that is your media sorted. And then the final piece of the puzzle is where Tilter comes into play in this video. So this is the Blackmagic uh, mounting plate uh, cage device thing. And what you'll see on here is that it has a cold hot shoe mount. So you can put a monitor on top of here. It also has a slot to put a tilter handle if you wanted to have that. 
It also has options for 15 millimeter rods if you wanted to mount something like a follow focus to the top of here. And then all that's gonna happen is we're just gonna screw that onto the top of the camera with a simple Allen key. So you can see that right there. We're just going to screw that into place on top of there. And right there is your very minimalist setup for a black magic camera. And honestly, this is brilliant. It just means that I can get really high quality footage and I don't have to be concerned about how much it'll weigh or how much I have to rig it up each time. And I can, I can mount like your very professional lenses on here. So you, this is just a 35 millimeter from Sigma. Or what you can do is you can get a very small pancake lens. So this is what I've been using at the moment. So this is just from Canon. This is a 40 millimeter pancake lens, 2.8. And for such a small and such a cheap lens, I think it was about a hundred quid, it takes some really good footage. And it just keeps the weight down of this camera. And yeah, this is what I use for when I just want to go out and I don't want to have to think about bringing everything with me. I don't, I don't want to bring a full Pelican case. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to capture some really good footage and not break my pack trying to record it. So that's it for today's video today. Just wanted to break down what I've been using to get some really simple footage. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want to know any more about the equipment that I use in my videos. And I will see you all in the next video. Cheers, guys.